fantastic. Thank you very much. Tell me, or, or we have to, because this is like, I know with you and Jason, there's never an accident. Oh, no, Jason. Tell me about this, this outfit, because it's, oh. it's pants underneath. Oh, yes, it's very much pants underneath. It's Fendi Couture with a little Cartier, because why not? Because why not? Yeah. Um, and, you know, this was just fun because I feel like it's now a tradition to wear pants at the SAG Awards. Right. Now, this is only my second year doing it, <laughs> but now I feel like that's enough to make it a tradition, yeah? 100%. And so I feel like this was a nice compromise between a dress and pants. Yeah. And I, I didn't even feel like a compromise. <laughs> what would you say is the emoji that would describe how you feel in this dress? Um, okay, you know the new genie emoji? It's like I you do. have to update your phone in pink. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, I was watching Grownish season two just was today Friday. I Come on you. with it, <laughs> y'all really went for it this season. Yeah. Like it's y'all went for it in a a major major way. I think that's just the perks of having more episodes. Of course, when you come in, you have your traditional moments in which we do have to address that Zoe and Luca are in a relationship and we haven't really figured out what that meant but now that we're really getting into the season there's so much more that we're able to discuss and I feel like that's why we have such a beautifully amazing cast of folks yeah. because we get to like delve into each person's personal story but in a way that we weren't able to last season. Now how, how are you adapting to college life yourself? How, how, how has that been going for you? It's been good. It's been, I mean, college on Gronish has uh, prepared me well. I've always been, I've always been the college guru because of Gronish. Okay, like, okay. All my friends that were in college, like, starting last year, and I was like, oh, I went through this in episode three. No, Let me like, tell you. But for real. Yes. And it's, 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 uh, it's crazy how real the things that the students in Gronish are dealing with oh are God. in real life. When I tell you, I have to tell my friends, like, oh, Zoe had an Adderall addiction. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's that really Zo stuff. that's Zoe Nayara. Yes, uh -huh. Zoe Nayara. Zoe was on Adderall. Yara was eating sugar pills. <laughs> <laughs> right, not me. Yeah. Uh, what is what's the thing? I mean, I remember hearing Regina King speak at the Golden Globes, talking about for the next several years she's making fifty, making a pledge to her, herself and to the industry that fifty percent will be women, fifty percent of her production staff will be women, stories will be about women. What do you think of that? It's so important. I mean, just the other day we were on a photo shoot, and this is about the third and within a month in which it's like, it's just not diverse. And so it's like, I'm so happy that people are talking about intersectionality in a way of not only how it affects women, but women of color. And it's, all of that is so important because while we may have it on screen, if the infrastructure doesn't match, then it won't last. Right, right. Mm -hmm. and it's, I think it's, it's so, it is so beautiful to me to have a young person like you who's like, uh-uh, I don't think this is going to work for us. Yeah, thank you. But I mean, I think what's amazing is I'm in no way the anomaly. My little sis is the youngest EP in Hollywood history right now. Come on, little! I mean, hate to brag. Come on, little! That's my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I yeah. love it. And I love it for you. Oh, You're thank you. Thank